Hello, this is Pro Male Vendetta here. I want to show one example of a man killed by the Me Too hashtag. There are other examples, and I will cover some of them at a later date. This example I am going to show, is not a one-off freak example. Many men have had their lives ruined by a false accusation. Do they keep a record of all the men driven to suicide due to false accusations? This is highly doubtful. So we can never know how many men have had their lives destroyed by online lynch mobs. I am now going to show a clip from a YouTube video reporting the death of someone called Byron Bernstein, also known as Recklefull. This example I am going to show is pretty typical of the video reporting. Most of the videos I have watched do not seem to mention Me Too at all. Twitch streamer Byron Reckful Bernstein has died, according to multiple reports. He was 31 years old. While exact details about his death have not been revealed, news first broke after his ex-girlfriend seemingly tweeted about him, writing, quote, Someone I loved killed themselves. I wish I could have said something to prevent it. She also shared a video of her with Reckful, adding, quote, Byron, I wish I could have helped you. We all do. Reckful, a former esports player, was one of the first streamers on Twitch and had hundreds of thousands of followers. Now tributes have been pouring in all across the gaming community. Fellow Twitch streamer Lyric wrote that he was absolutely floored by the news. What most YouTube videos will not tell you is the fact a Twitch streamer called Indie Fox made an accusation against Brian. Indie Fox did not even accuse Brian of anything illegal as far as I know. She accused him of flirting with her and hitting on her. This was still enough for Twitch to end their partnership with him and ban him. I do not think it was a coincidence that Brian killed himself soon after he got attacked by Me Too. He was even getting messaged by people telling him to go kill himself as well. I am not really interested in Indie Fox, or have much of a desire to call her out. She is clearly a bad person. But her bad behavior was enabled by two corporate organizations, Twitter and Twitch. Twitter is the website that enables Me Too and refuses to ban it. Twitch was the one who banned Brian just on the word of a woman, and the accusations were not even of a criminal nature. Men are deemed so subhuman, that they can have their careers ruined for no reason. Men chase status to gain female approval, and this is one of the reasons they do not bother fighting for their rights, sadly. As long as men do well in the status chasing rat race they are fine with injustice affecting other men. As long as men have the hope of getting status, and feel they are close to getting the girl, they would rather chase that, than stand up for other men. By the time a man is falsely accused himself it is too late. He didn't stand up for anyone else, and now no one else will stand up for him. Any man who is falsely accused was most likely complicit in other men getting falsely accused via his inaction. For who do the bells tone? They tone for thee. The media coverage of this tragic event has been completely dishonest, and the Me Too aspect of Brian's suicide has been pushed aside. Most of the information about his suicide I have gotten has been from text articles online. I think the hashtag MeToo is in fact worse than the hashtag kill all men. MeToo has done more direct violence to the lives of men. Both hashtags are unacceptable, and Twitter should remove them. As I have said before Twitter has removed other toxic hashtags, so there is no excuse for letting hashtags designed to smear and attack men pass. This is Pro Male Vendetta ending the video. I plan to do more videos, grow my channel, and thus make my voice online bigger. Please help me do this by subbing to my channel and sharing my videos. I will be back. This I promise.